Ever pondered how technology can be harnessed to prevent human-wildlife conflicts? Picture an alarm system that alerts communities when elephants, lions, hyenas and other wildlife are near, thus preventing potential conflicts. This system uses loud sounds and flashing lights powered by solar energy. Intriguing, isn't it? Firstly, you'll need solar panels. These panels are tasked with capturing sunlight and converting it into electrical energy. Positioning for maximum sun exposure is key. Secondly, you'll need deep cycle batteries. These store the solar energy for use during nighttime or cloudy days. Thirdly, you'll need to install motion sensors in areas prone to wildlife conflicts. The task of these sensors, detecting the presence of animals. Next, you'll need to connect loudspeakers to the system. Strategically placed, these speakers are programmed to emit loud, alarming sounds when the motion sensors are triggered. To accompany the loud sounds, flashing strobe lights should be integrated into the system. These can be distressing to animals and effective at deterring them. A central control unit is essential to manage the sensors, speakers and lights. It can be programmed to activate the alarms when motion is detected. Connectivity options like Wi-Fi, cellular or radio should be incorporated to remotely monitor and control the system. Safety measures are crucial to avoid harm to humans or animals. For instance, use non-lethal sound levels and lights that do not harm the eyes of animals. Regular maintenance and checks are necessary to ensure all components are working properly. Involving local communities and educating them on how to use and maintain the system is also vital. Data logging to record when and where the system was activated can be valuable for tracking wildlife movements and behaviours. While the primary power source is solar, a backup power source, like a grid or generator, is useful for extended periods of inclement weather. Lastly, ensure your system complies with local regulations and consider the impact on wildlife behaviour and conservation efforts. In conclusion, creating an alarm system to prevent human-wildlife conflicts is possible and can be achieved by following these simple steps. It is important to tailor the system to the specific needs of the region and the behaviour of the wildlife in question. Involving local experts and authorities in its design and deployment is essential for the success of such a system.